What's up everybody, Brian Casella here, BC. Welcome back to another video. Um, I have a special announcement in the next video about a uh, new luxury property that we're putting on the market for over four million, so I'm excited to announce that. That's gonna be on a separate video though. In this particular video, I wanna cover some mistakes that new agents and agents in general make when choosing a broker. Now if you wanna wait until the very end of the video, the last minute or two, I will give you my personal recommendation on what brokerage I believe you should join. The first section is going to be about the typical mistakes and oversights a lot of agents make. Okay, let's get into it. Number one is agents tend to focus exclusively and only on their split. Now that is a mistake, especially as a brand new agent. If you happen to find a broker who delivers on their promises and is actually going to help you, focusing entirely on the split is a mistake and here's why. Let's say you're offered 80-20 or 90-10, meaning you keep 80 or 90%, 10 or 20% goes to the broker, yet you receive no support, no training, no help, you're not taught what to do, you're not shown the ropes, and you're not really certain or confident when you go out there and talk to customers. Well, what are the odds at that point of you actually being productive and selling a good amount of homes? Not even a crazy amount, just maybe 10 houses in a year or something like that, which for most people will provide a really good income, okay? Very unlikely that's gonna happen. Yet, let's say you were on a 60-40, but you were taught a lot, and you went from being 80 or 90 and 10 and 20 and selling one or two homes to being a 60-40 split and selling 10 or 15 homes your first year. Which actually is better? Well, obviously the 60-40 because you're getting experience. It is a temporary sacrifice. Now, I'm not saying go out and look for the broker who gives you the worst split and that's automatically going to be the best. That's not the case. What I want you to do is take off that mask and filter that you're looking at brokerages through saying, what's your split, what's your split, what's your split? The best way I can compare that is when sellers are trying and attempting to screen you right out of the gate without knowing you and what you do and saying, what's your commission, what's your commission, what's your commission? It's not a fair negotiation because you haven't demonstrated your value, they don't know what you have to offer, and they're not sure. They're just kind of as a commodity. They're assuming that all other factors are equal, but they're not. So do your due diligence. Do not rely entirely on the commission split, okay? Number two is a lot of agents don't do their due diligence in the sense of a broker, and the sad part is I've heard so many stories about this, and this is why I'm mentioning it, okay? A broker will promise a lot of training and support Okay, and this is a, a twofold thing. Yet when the agent shows up, they don't deliver on the promise. That really upsets me because what they're attempting to do is get the agent in, basically mislead them. They come in and then because they already joined, they're kind of like, well, I'm not gonna change brokerages because I already joined. And then they're basically told, there's your desk, there's your phone, get to work. Yet the agent's sitting there saying, dude, we spoke for 30 minutes and you offered that you were gonna help me and provide me a mentor and support and then it never happens, or they promise level 10 help and support, and the agent receives level five or six support. And that, again, upsets me. That's just the nature of it. I've gotten too many DMs and too many messages and comments saying I was, oh, that was me, they promised me this and they didn't give it to me. I've recommended people go to my brokerage and they don't because another one promised them, and then they message me a week later saying, I should have gone to yours because look, this one promised me all this help and support and I never got it, okay? now. I said that's twofold because one of them is that, yet at the same time, some of these brokerages, someone will say, hey, you come in, right? I'm gonna mentor you at this brokerage. What a lot of times is that's a hidden agenda for that particular agent or broker to get that person onto their team as a buyer's agent or some kind of agent that they never really agreed to, right? Yet it was one of those underlying things saying, well, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, yet that wasn't explained clearly to the agent. They were told, hey, I'm gonna get help and support. I don't have to be on your team. Yet this person said, well, I'm gonna help you, but here's the catch. You gotta join my team and you gotta be a buyer's agent and you gotta do what I say. Again, that to me is very uh, bad. I don't think people should be misled like that. It's the nature of the industry though. So, point is, as an agent, do your due diligence, okay? I've seen this happen far too often. I get too many messages and it, it's sad to see. So I wanted to make this video just to publicly tell people, hey, wake up and do your due diligence. So we have basically make them uh, deliver on what they promise, looking at the commission split. Number three, uh, this other one is 
big brokerage versus small brokerage. Look guys, you need to understand that it's your activities as an agent that ultimately inspire the customer to hire you. It doesn't matter if it's a boutique brokerage, a big brokerage, or the local brokerage, okay? Even if your uh, desired office is 30 minutes away and it's not in the desi desired area you wanna sell, if they're giving you what you want as a brokerage, go to it. Hang your license there. That's entirely more important than, oh, well, they have market share. Oh, they're a bigger company with a ton of agents. Oh, they're a boutique brokerage. Uh, I might get more personal attention. That's secondary to, again, the first two things that I told you and what are they gonna provide you as an agent. Do not worry about are they local and all that other stuff. The customer, once you reach a certain level of confidence, does not care. Again, we took that luxury listing over four million. I'm with EXP. They're a brand new company. Do you think the uh, owner asked me what company I was with? Do you think they cared? Absolutely not. Now maybe if I gave off the impression that I wasn't confident or competent at what I do, they may have asked and used that as a logical reason to rule me out which we've covered on other videos, okay? So the focus needs to be, where do I wanna hang my license and who gives me the value? Again, that's senior too, is it big, is it small, or whatever, wherever it is, because I always tell people, pick the brokerage that you go to and, and the areas that you wanna sell in based on where you see yourself, okay? Because I get asked, should I move to a big city, small city, big brokerage, small brokerage, an hour away? Where do you wanna be? Where do you see yourself selling? That is the answer that you need to uh, come up with <clears throat> from there. Picking the brokerage and doing everything else will naturally fall into place because you'll be where you want to be. That's ultimately what's more important, okay? Now, the <clears throat> last portion here of the video, as I promised in the beginning, I'm going to give you my personal recommendation. A lot of you know that I made the jump to eXp Realty, which is a cloud-based brokerage. They're phenomenal, they're all over the nation. They're expanding internationally. We've been with them about four months now. I love them, right? Uh, I tell people if you're a new agent, experienced agent, doesn't really matter. They provide a ton of training on the cloud. You're assigned a local mentor when you join for you new agents. With the Regis system, you have access to offices all over the place in Southern California. I think they already have 60 or 70 locations that you can get like this. I mean, it really is a progressive brokerage. It's really, really good. As I mentioned, 25 plus hours of training, new training every week. A lot of us agents contribute to it. A lot of the top teams and agents from Keller Williams and some of these other companies have moved to eXp. It really is progressive, has a lot of opportunities. You get stock options, you have revenue share, and what I did as a bonus for the people that I sponsor in, and I've already sponsored in, I believe, 30 agents, is once a month I'm having an online and in-person meetup for those who are local who I sponsor in, and we're going to discuss two things. How to help the agents with their business and help them grow and also how to build their downline and help them recruit new agents in and build their passive income stream. One of the biggest things that agents struggle with is creating other streams of income and having passive income. Well, you're gonna be selling and doing what you do at another brokerage anyway. Why not join eXp and have that building itself in the background as well as all these stock options, right? The stock was worth 12 cents two years ago and now it's worth, I think, $16 a share. I already have 350 shares and my passive income stream is already growing extensively, okay? So, I don't wanna make this too big of a promotion for eXp, however, if you are interested in eXp and you're ready to join now, go to join.exprealty.com, put me as your sponsor for who recommended you, send in your application, from there they'll send you the contract and you can read it over and check all the details, okay? If you're still not sure and you would like more information, uh, message me and I'll send you a, a webinar that they created that's about 30-40 minutes giving you more details about the company, what they have to offer and that sort of thing that way you can be in a better position to make the decision. Okay, Whether you're a new agent, experienced agent, doesn't really matter. It's a great opportunity. It's a great company. I will not stop ranting and raving about them because I love them and I've met some really great people and made some very, very crucial connections in the business and outside of the business thus far with uh, eXp. Okay. So with that said, I'll end the video here. If you're an agent looking for a brokerage, make sure you do your due diligence, whether you join mine or another one, make the right decision as it could be a pivotal point in your career, especially in the beginning, to determine whether you're gonna be successful or not. Okay, as always, if you guys are interested in my personal coaching and mentorship program, Modern Success, we have 135 members now. Go to briancasella.com, go to the coaching tab and get signed up, it will change your life. I also have my products on my website. Everything else that you might be interested in is in the description below. Make sure that you check it out. Um, and as always, make sure that you keep hustling. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Keep the hustle up. Subscribe to the channel. 
Team BC, I'll see you on the next video.